It was. Mm -hmm. as well. So that happens once a year, but all year there's this problem with fast food outlets and parking lots, which uh, that also has great ordinances about that. They just don't enforce them. They include things like uh, you're not supposed to let trash off your parking lot, and also you're supposed to have so many trash cans per number of parking spaces. What was the gorgeous trash can I just saw on Bay Tree? just west of Remerton, heading uh, on that sidewalk heading toward the mall. I don't know. A new public trash can has just shown up out of nowhere right there, and I, I applaud it. That's a good thing. I applaud it, too. I believe we've even seen some on Zachadoo's parking lot. Oh, listen to that. Well Which means done. them and Walmart are the only two companies that do that systematically. And we're looking for the trash cans in Valdez's own parking lot, for example, right across they're, the city hall. They're coming. They're on some sort of back order. We, get, we want them out before... There is a statewide group coming to visit in our downtown. We want them out before that. I think that's no, a November date. So, John, look for them. Look for them uh, before Thanksgiving for sure. Now we know how to get Valdosta to do something. Get, Invite uh, somebody to come. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. it so, uh, yeah, we're, look, we're looking forward to that too. The city sets an example. Maybe other uh, maybe businesses will do better. Yeah, so let's uh, challenge a couple of them. Uh, one, Home Depot parking lot because of that creek that runs behind there, and, and Lowe's just because of its sheer size. There you go. And how about Academy while you're at it? Oh, thank you. Yeah, especially with, again, and, and Coles, we'll even mention them. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, you people do realize that you, you border one of the more active, active creeks there in town, too. Yeah, that's also a Hydro Creek, I believe.